Hi, sweet boy. Hi. Good morning, everybody. This is Brittany and Frankie Bobcat at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. No, that's not pee. No peeing. <laughs> well, good morning to you. <laughs> good morning, Lauren. Good morning, Nicole. Look at that twitchy tail. He has the best bobcat twitchy tail. Hey, Linda. Good morning. Hello, Kenneth. <laughs> and he's off. <laughs> good morning, Leanne. A lot of you guys have been asking um, to see Frankie or have an update on Frankie. <laughs> so he's, he's like, I think this is where food comes. Good morning, Bonnie. So he settled down a lot. It doesn't look like it right now, but during the day, he spends all day sleeping in his den or on his den. Hi. He's making cute little noises. Do you think this is where the food comes? Good morning, Eddie. Good morning, Rochelle. <laughs> we're, watching, we're watching Frankie get his morning exercise. Good morning, Vicki. Hi, Lydia. I don't know if you guys, some of you haven't seen Frankie. Everybody's got their morning routines, and he is no exception. <laughs> Good morning, Carol. <laughs> you want to come back over here? Come back over here. Good morning, Mirza. <laughs> Watch his little routine from over here. So we know from where he came from, they didn't have him on display anymore because they said he didn't really like people or his neighbors. He was kind of in isolation. Um, and so we've kind of kept him not super separate. I mean, he's right next to Moses and Bailey and he can see Apollo and Smalls. Good morning, Donna. This is Frankie, Frankie Bobcat. Doing his morning crazies. Everybody's got their version of Zoomies. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Berka. He looked like he was tuckered out there for a second. So I figured we would start with Frankie, who's super excited because breakfast should be coming. Yeah, I've gotten my steps in just watching him this morning, too. Good morning, Anna. Hello, Grace. Hi, Jerry. Good morning, everybody. So I figured we would... Um, kind of start out in the front corner up here. So Apollo and Running Bear as well. Uh, some of the cats do vocalize to each other. Smalls, uh, Mrs. Nabisco, and Simba all talk to each other. Good morning, Casey. Hello, Pauline. Let's go see Apollo next. If you guys are just joining, this is Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. We just said hello to Frankie Bobcat. I hear the feeding carts coming, so it's almost feeding time. This is Apollo. Apollo is a Siberian lynx. He was actually born in 1997, so he is one of our older cats. Everybody's excited when they hear the food cart. Oh, that was a good noise. Here's Running Bear. I know a lot of people have been asking about Running Bear. I have no idea what they say to each other when they vocalize. I'm sure a lot of it's more about territory. Hi, sis. Oh my goodness, this is Running Bear. Running Bear is also one of our much older bobcats. So you can see he's excited because the feeders arrived. <laughs> so Lisa and Dylan and Alyssa. Mr. Bear. This is Running Bear Bobcat. I believe Nabisco is our youngest. In the wild, most of these cats live 10 to 12 years. Um, here, they tend to live up into their 20s because they get really good diets, vet care, they have keepers that keep an eye on them constantly, every single day. We have just under 70 cats on 67 acres here in Tampa, Florida. Everybody's a busybody this morning. 
Uh, so we did have a little white dove. She recently did pass away. They did live together for over 20 years. She was one of my personal favorite cats, actually. I've been very happy to see that Running Bear really hasn't skipped a beat, though. Um, he's not as playful with his enrichment like he used to be, but he is still eating and cooperating with everything that we need him to do, and he's actually enjoying this, um, this enclosure that they were moved to just right before she passed away. Can we get one more look at you, sir? Then we'll go away. <laughs> that is why I love the bobcats. <laughs> so vocal. Let's get you one more shot of Apollo here. Apollo's being very vocal this morning. Oh no, did they snub you? They always start with Frankie first. Yeah, if you guys have questions about our cages, please go to bigcatrescue.org slash cages. You can see Apollo was just in this very small little circular area, which is actually on top of a really big den of his. But his enclosure goes all the way back there. And then Running Bear's enclosure goes all the way back there. Hello there. <laughs> yeah, he's being very vocal this morning. <laughs> <laughs> this is Elisa for any of you asking. Elisa's our gift shop manager. But even though we're staff members, we still have to get our volunteer time in each month as well. So that's a lot of times if you're ever here and you see a staff member out helping with the cats, that's their volunteer time on top of their full-time job. All of our animal care here is done by volunteers and interns, and you can uh, definitely learn all about that. We're always looking for hard workers. You can go to bigcatrescue.org slash get dash involved. He's making so many silly noise, I know. My little girl's squeaking. <laughs> Smalls has such a beautiful enclosure right now with all the, everything in bloom and everything so lush. I was going to walk over and see if we could see Gilligan and Skipper. See if Smalls wants to make an appearance. I think she's chirping at misses on the other side. So let's walk over here. Good morning, Sonia. I do apologize if anybody's making any kind of donations. It doesn't show up on my screen anymore, so... I thank you if you have. Here's Mr. Gilligan. Hi, sweet boy. I didn't bring the food, I'm sorry. That's the look of disappointment right there. They have the food over there though. Oh good, Skipper's out in a good place to see him. Good morning, Sandy. I apologize if I don't shout out your name or answer your question. Sometimes when I'm walking around, I'm watching where I'm walking or I'm watching the cat and not really the screen. This is Gilligan. He's a Canada Lynx. Hello, Catherine. Look at that fluffy tail. So this is before breakfast time. We feed once a day here. We thaw out about 500 pounds of meat a day and they get fed in the morning, so it is their happy time of the day for sure. They're cats, so they eat, and then they spend the rest of the day grooming and sleeping. Hi, and this is Skipper. Skipper is also a Canadian lynx. Hi, sir. You are a good boy. Skipper is way more reserved and shy than Gilligan, as you can see. Gilligan will always run up to me and see if I have food or not. <laughs> uh, so Diane, I go live almost every morning and I try to show a variety of the cats, especially cats people don't always see. Um, specifically this week I had a lot of people reach out to me and say, I didn't even know that cat existed there. Because um, we do have almost 70 cats, so it's not possible to see them all. You can see a list of them and learn all of their stories at bigcatrescue.org slash catbio. 
um, but we will try to go see something larger than what we're looking at, but I wanted to show you guys Loki. Loki's one of my personal favorites. He's very shy and elusive too. He's so handsome. Loki's a savannah cat. We're going. Where are you going? <laughs> He's come out of his shell quite a bit though. He's very sweet. Mr. Loki. Yeah. Um, I did show Nikita, Priya, and Kali yesterday. If you guys ever miss our live feeds, they post automatically on our Facebook page, so you can always go back and watch the replays. <laughs> what did I say about being shy? Oh, come here, sweet boy. He's actually adjusting quite well to me with um, my regular camera, so I've gotten some really beautiful photos of him recently. Oh, I thought he was going to go back up. And he started really enjoying that really tall platform back there too, so that's been exciting. His owner said he pretty much was aggressive and hid all the time. So I love that here he can kind of explore on his own terms. Yeah, no problem, Audrey. That's definitely one of our most asked questions is about our enclosures. And really, you can only see what my camera screen is gonna show you, but if I physically walked around every single cage here, I can assure you on cleaning days, when I'm here cleaning, you clean a section and you double check a section. I've walked over eight miles. <laughs> Skipper again. And we'll pass back by Mr. Gill. Gilly! What I can do is get on my golf cart. Good morning, Tony. Be nice if I could show you, maybe we'll head out to Outback. I don't know if I've shown you Cameron and Zabu yet this week. I try really hard to just show you guys a variety so you're not seeing the same like 10 cats or our most popular cats. Uh, morning time before breakfast is when they're kind of out and about um, and super active, like I said, because this is their happy time of day. Good morning, Marlene. I don't think I said hi to Deb, but hi, Deb. So we have another feeding route down there that's getting all of their food ready. Oh, I do want to show you. I actually physically have one of our new shirts that I'm gonna be taking photos of today on an awesome model. So these are available on teespring.com slash stores slash Big Cat Rescue. Um, they're available through our YouTube channel, bigcattv.com. So Cameron did eat yesterday um, and took his meds and he actually was very spry this morning. He was kind of jogging and um, <laughs> chasing Zabu around a little bit. It was really kind of silly. Ooh, I had a request. I think it was Mirza for Zukari, and he is actually visible. Yeah, I love the shirt too. Uh, Catherine modeled one for me. I'm going to have our intern Mike model one. They also have coffee mugs and stickers. Hi, Zuzu. This is Zukari. Yeah, generally the Savannah cats are owner surrender surrendered because they definitely don't work out as pets. Hi, this is Zukari and he is an African serval. He's calmed down a lot since he came in too. He used to be really pacey and jumpy and actually became one of our naughty cats where we close his lockout for feeding time. And now you can see he's just like snoozing until the food actually arrives. Yeah, hey Zuzu. We have a lot of servals because again, they're smaller and people think that because they're small, they would be manageable and they make terrible pets. Are you snubbing me? I'm not sure which one tiger you're talking about that might have had a belly ache. We have quite a few. Zuzu! That's the official serval snub right there. Oh, did you hiss at me? That's not very nice. 
<laughs> All right, we're walking away now. <laughs> oh, that cracks me up. All right, let's keep trucking along. Hoping to show you guys maybe a leopard. Good morning, Cheryl. And then if we can, oh, I posted a really creepy yet awesome, oh, there's Zimba laying in his lockout ready for breakfast. Uh, video of Manny Jaguar yesterday on my public Facebook page and um, our Instagram. So Instagram.com slash Big Cat Rescue. So <laughs> definitely check that out. It was interesting. Uh, if you're just joining, we uh, started out with Frankie Bobcat. We saw Apollo the Siberian Lynx. Here's Miss Maya. <gasps> Sweet girl, you stay right there. You can stay right there. Um, let's see, and then we saw Running Bear, Apollo, uh, Skipper Gilligan, and Loki. Then we just saw Zukari. This is Maya Cougar. Yeah, you, <laughs> the video with Manny really kind of blew my mind. Don't you jump from there. There's a ramp. There's a ramp, lady. Come this way. Um, what was I about to say? Oh, yeah, so I was just out trying to, I was taking some slow-mo video of Manny that I'll be sharing on Instagram as well, and I was just trying to take some video, and at one point he came up and just started sharpening his teeth on the side of the cage, and I told Catherine and Afton about it, and Afton's like, oh yeah, he started doing that to me recently too, so I'm not sure what's warranting him to do that. But it was pretty terrifying. He was literally just rubbing the tips of his teeth uh, on the wire. So <laughs> it's pretty frightening. Oh, sweet girl. Sweet girl. Diana, you can go to my um, facebook.com slash Brittany Mira BCR page and you'd see it there or go to instagram.com slash big cat rescue. in either place. I'm not sure if Luana, I've always told Luana she can share anything I ever post on my page, but I don't always see it end up on the main Facebook page. Somebody probably shared it into the group as well. Oh, her tongue's doing well. As you can see, she's doing grooming right now. It's kind of like when you bite your own tongue or lip, how quickly your mouth heals. They heal pretty fast. We still aren't sure if she bit her own tongue or what happened there, but. Good morning, Diane from Ohio. I'm from Ohio. I live here now. Oh, good, Keith. I'm really glad you enjoy these videos. I definitely enjoy getting to share these cats with the world. They're, they became my life <laughs> about three and a half years ago. Hi, sweet girl. What are you doing? You can say hi to everybody. Hi. You stay up there. All right. We're going to keep moving. <laughs> so that was Maya Cougar. We're going to pass by all the noisies. And the noisy cats would be Hutch, who's an African serval. Beecher, who's a Savannah cat. Hi, sweet boy. Uh, Natalia is actually in the uh, recovery hospital. We think she liked her new home enclosure a little too much and possibly either jumped off of or attempted to jump on her platform. Um, and a couple days later, she was like limping pretty severely. We did x rays, there's nothing definitive that they could find. Um, yeah, nothing broken. So right now she's kind of on bed rest. She does have a camera, so you guys can um, watch her live. Wow, Beach. So this is Beecher, a Savannah cat. Hutch didn't come over and join. I figured he would. He did not. Thinking we'll go over and say hi to Sundari. 
Uh, Kelly, I don't have a lot to say about that, honestly. Let's see where we can... We'll even, oh! <laughs> how did I not see you up there? Let's go in and see. Let's go see Armani. So Armani is on Funcation. Funcation is a 22,000 square foot enclosure that the cats rotate to um, for two weeks at a time. Hi. Oh, Armani is a leopard. Oh, what was that? That was a weird noise. We're not, we don't have great light on her is the only downfall. She's beautiful blue eyes. Hi! You having fun up there? Yeah, Lori, I'm definitely going to try to get out to Cam and Boo. That's where I hope to end this. So, figured once we got past the leopards, I would head out to Outback. Show you guys Cameron, our male lion, and Zebu, our female white tiger. Yep, so Funcation is a really large space with lots of dens and platforms. And while they're on Funcation or Vacation, we have a much larger two and a half acre one for the lions and tigers. While they're out and about on their vacations, we go into their home enclosures and um, spruce things up, usually add new enrichment for them. We're going! Beautiful Armani. She is 21 years old. If you times a cat's age by six, that's what they would be in human years. I know. Alright. You are a pretty silhouette, but you don't have great lighting on you right now. <laughs> She's like, you didn't bring the food. I do see her keepers coming down the way with the feeding cart. Uh, we are moving cats. The potential today, it's not vacation move day, that should be next Thursday, um, but we are potentially going to try to move Keisha to a new home today. Um, she would be between Gabby and Kali, right on the lake. But we'll see how that goes. That would free up what we call Tiger Island. I see a lot of requests, so I will try to give you a glimpse of some of these cats, but I don't know that we're gonna be able to stop and officially chat with all of them. But if we do move Keisha later, I'll try to come back um, and show you guys how she's doing in the new enclosure. This whole area in the middle is what we call Tiger Island. Ideally, this is where the tigers that are coming from Guatemala will go, but we're hoping to build some pools for them before their arrival. There's Gabby. Hi, lady. You wanna come say hi? Hi, sweet girl. Oh, come out. This is Gabrielle Tiger. You really just see her cute little ears and her silhouette. She just had breakfast. You still have some over there. So she started this new thing where she'll eat a couple bites and then she waits for the keeper to come back around on the double check and then she wants them to stick feed her. <laughs> that seems to happen with all of our older cats where they're just like, I no longer want to eat off the ground. <laughs> Well, Sarah E, I took a bunch of new photos of Gabby over the last week, so I will be posting lots of new photos of her soon. It was actually really cute. Katie, who's a staff member here, has two adorable little boys, and she brought them out uh, the other day, and they were walking around, and I was photographing Gabby. Oh, here she comes. And all of a sudden, I saw this light in her eye, and she just, she was fixated on something, and I didn't know what it was, and I turned around, and it was the two little boys, <laughs> so she was ready to get them, huh? This is Gabrielle. Are you going to go back in and eat, Mama? Nope, drink the water first. 
Yeah, I actually did um, a lot of photos over the last, actually it's been over a month of trying to get new photos, but finding the time to edit them has been terrible. So I finally did, and I will have a ton of new photos posting on our Instagram over the next few weeks. And lots of videos. I've been playing around with slow-mo videos, and I have a couple of Cyrus that I just can't even wait to post. They're so adorable. All right, well, at least we got her back up and moving, so we'll see if she finishes breakfast. All right, I saw Priya was a request for Miss Deb. This is the enclosure key she would be moving to. So she'll be right on the lake, and she'll have a swimming pool again. are just joining. This is <laughs> Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. Hi! This is Priya Tiger. We started out with some of the smaller cats. I know. This is Priya, but we started out with Frankie, Apollo, Running Bear, Skipper Gilligan, Loki. We went and saw Maya. We saw Armani. She loves to help me get my steps in in the morning. She has a clean plate. She's already finished breakfast. Yeah, Priya had a rough go in the beginning. Her transformation's been pretty amazing. Anytime I get to her, I always want to encourage that you guys never ever pay to uh, play with baby cubs, tiger or lion. Sorry, I kind of just parked. <laughs> Like parked in the middle of the road and blocked Carol. <laughs> I just got excited when I saw Priya. I parked and jumped off the cart. <laughs> Left her right in the middle. <laughs> Priya, you're all back here. I know. She makes me get my steps in in the morning. <laughs> so that was Carol. Carol is here uh, a little bit earlier than normal today because she's going to be doing a tour. There's our beautiful lake. Good morning, Cynthia. I don't know if they said hi to you or Mary. Good morning, everybody and Karen. But Carol's going to be doing a tour, uh, actually with the keepers from the Henry uh, Dorley Zoo, where Manny and Natalia came from. Hi. I chased you anyway. I chased you anyway. Whoa. I know. Good morning, Nor. Uh, Jessica, they walk back and forth because in the wild, these cats would roam hundreds of square miles a day when people breed them for life in cages, because a lot of people don't realize that they were born in a cage, they can never go free. Um, so they got to get their exercise somehow. Thank you, Wendy. I appreciate it. Good morning. So uh, they also, in the wild, they would actually walk the same territories over and over again and create these little corridors. So you'll see just the, the path in which they walk. And generation after generation of animals will follow those same kinds of corridors. I'm just gonna wait here because I know you'll come back. Hi. <laughs> All right. All right, well, I better move my cart out of the middle of the road. And let's head over and see Cameron and Zebu. Hopefully they're still up and moving. And I do apologize if I've missed any questions. Hopefully some of our amazing moderators that are in the comments. Oh, I can't walk past Kali. Hi, BB. Hi, sweet angel. <laughs> This is Kali. Hi, sweet girl. <laughs> yes. That noise she's making is a chuck. Hi. The tiger you just saw was Priya, but this one is Kali. Hi, sweetness. All right, thank you. Thanks for the love. You see all the scratching she's done on that den. In the wild, they scratch trees um, to mark their territory. And if the scratches, the higher the scratches, usually the bigger the animal. And if the next tiger can't reach the highest scratch, they move on because that is somebody bigger's territory. <laughs> I had the extreme honor to go to India this past March and see tigers living in the wild. It was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I highly recommend. Hello. 
yellow from them because if it's not friendly, it's going to be a roar. Yeah, this is more of our lake. Oh, I don't want to mess you up. Marie is feeding Cameron right now. That is our vacation rotation, two and a half acre enclosure. I don't want to mess you up, Marie, but they're all asking for Cameron and Zabu. Oh, yeah, he's eating well. We're going to let him keep going with Marie for a minute. We'll go see Miss Zabu. Lori, I hope you're still on here. Yeah, anything bigger than a cougar. What are you doing, silly lady? Anything bigger than a cougar can't purr. They only roar or saw. lazily laying there. I'm trying to find you guys a better view here. It also said I had a low connection. I think we're good here. This is Zabu, our female white tiger. Something else a lot of people don't know about white tigers is the only way to get a white tiger is through inbreeding. And they're typically born with a lot of serious health defects. Zabu is perfect in our eyes, but she's no exception. She doesn't really have uh, an upper lip that actually protects her teeth, so she's been riddled with health issues, uh, dental issues, digestive issues. Uh, Renee, we have no babies here. We don't do any breeding. Uh, the only babies that you'd see here oh, are native Florida uh, bobcats that were born in the wild. If they're abandoned or injured or lost, we, um, we rehab them for release back into the wild. I hope they give themselves baths. That's all cats really do is eat, sleep, and groom. Yeah. Boo boo, are you being camera shy? We'll go back to Cameron, but I don't want to be a distraction to him because she said he is eating very well. So the last thing we want to do is somebody else walk up and distract him. So we came over to see his girl. Boo boo. What are you doing, lady? If you guys are just joining, this is Zabu, our white tiger at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. As I mentioned, even though we think she's perfect, I know um, she probably would have been a throwaway tiger for a breeder because she may look black and white, but when you see her up close in real life, she's more of a creamy color, not really white, and she's got sort of reddish brown stripes. So she would not have been a perfect show tiger that they would have been breeding her for. Did he tell you he's going over here? No. Tigers make a variety of noises. Moaning, mooing, chuffing, roaring. Yeah. Her and Priya both have that kind of long, drawn out moan. had her breakfast, but she generally does get good girl snacks if she leaves Cameron alone while he eats. Yeah. <laughs> so much to say. I know. He's a 
Cameron and Zabu have some really cute merchandise on our Amazon store. So if you shop on Amazon, you can always search for Big Cat Rescue Cambu or Big Cat Rescue Cameron or Zabu. Either one of those will bring up some cute stuff. We also sell a lot of merchandise for both of them on BigCatRescue.biz. You are so silly this morning. You can see that Marie is just barely around the corner, and that's where Cameron is, but she's smart enough to know she has to keep her distance. Hey, baby. You're our best girl. Yes, you are. You're the best girl. Yes, you are. You're a good girl. Karen, something's doing very well. Gemma, she is 18 years old. So in the wild, they usually would live about 10 to 12 years. No, Diana, there's been no update. You can sleepy. Oh, we must be done. Here comes Cam. See, you said he ate some. A little bit. <laughs> you better get that turkey drum before I get it. Mom's gonna get it. <laughs> I know. Oh, oh, you better get it. Look, it's right there. Nope. Cameron refuses to eat off the ground, which is why it makes it so difficult for us to feed him. Uh, he gave us a really good scare a few months ago and went into the hospital and come over here Cam Cam let her get that let her get that um, and we put him on some new meds and we got all of that good stuff rolling but he started eating well again but just this past week he started getting really picky again so see how it goes um, Zappa is definitely hard of hearing. We don't know that she's officially deaf per se, but it's, she sleeps like a rock. So it's, sometimes it's really hard to get her to pay attention. So that's, it's hard to know whether that's just a cat being a cat or if it is some kind of defect with her. And yes, we do treat, um, for fleas as well as worms. They do get rabies vaccines, but there's no... Um, study or official proof on big cats whether that is effective or not so unfortunately uh, and one of the biggest reasons other than the fact that it's disrespectful to touch a wild animal is we don't pet these cats because if they were to even accidentally hurt us the CDC could have um, us put them down cut off their head and test them for rabies that does not that is not a risk any of us are willing to take just for our own selfish ones Yep, Cheryl ticks too. We don't tend to have a big issue with uh, any of those here, to be honest. Uh, rehab bobcats that come in from the wild, from time to time we do have to remove ticks from them. Oh, are we cleaning our paw? You want, you want another treat? You want some treats, Zabu? So, like I told you guys earlier, Zabu gets good girl treats for being patient. She's getting chicken thighs. Oh, Karen, that sounds cute. Yeah, the bobcats that we currently have in rehab right now are just adorable. There are four of them together. We have a lot of cameras on property you guys can watch all the time, but the rehab bobcats are one of them. Go to bigcatcams.com. You can choose between vacation rotation. You can um, choose Tiger Lake where Hoover and Seth live. You can see the kitten cabana, you can see bobcat rehab. We have a lot of nest cameras listed there as well. So lots of stuff for you guys to watch all day. Yeah. <laughs> Claire, yeah, there's, there's a lot of names here with almost 70 cats. 
as a keeper, you're required to know every name, every cat, and every uh, enclosure that they're in. Uh, Caitlin, we get asked that a lot, what happens when the cats pass away. Um, when they do pass away, if it's just from old age, and you know, again, some of them are 22, 24, we had a cougar that lived to be almost 30, we had a leopard that was almost, or I think he was 25. Um, but anyway, when they pass away, they are cremated, and we have a memorial garden. We want to make sure that no part of them ever ends up in the trade. Good job, Marie! <laughs> yeah, we do have snakes from time to time, but I'd say the most common one that we see are black racers. And they're harmless. They scare the bejesus out of you when you turn a corner and there's one right there, but it doesn't happen all that often. And the cats generally, prey like that is just too small for them to even exert the energy for it, so. Well, they were both together. Um, we just, when Cameron's actually interested in eating, we feed him first and right away because that boo will pretty much always eat. Um, if he's not interested in eating at all, then we definitely feed her first. They're pretty good. Like he never messes with her food, but sometimes Boo Boo gets interested in those turkey drums, which she can't actually have anything with bone because of all the dental issues that she has. Bye Marie, thank you. I know. Donna, unfortunately these two don't have a full-time camera on them. They, uh, they have the camera when they're in the vacation rotation. Where are you guys going now? But unfortunately not. And that's mainly because our internet signal is not always great out here. Um, especially during storm season, we lose a lot of signal as well. It'd be really great if he'd start roaring. You, you have that roar face. You have the roar face. Maybe if I back away a little bit, he might. Well, as I mentioned earlier, the walking around, it's not so much pacing. I think if you've ever been to a zoo where cats are in like glassed enclosures and you see pacing in that manner, this is much different, but they're trapped in cages because people wanted to breed them in captivity. So in the wild, they'd be able to roam hundreds of square miles a day, but when they're trapped in a cage, they have to get their exercise somehow. They usually pace around or walk around for a little bit after breakfast, and then after that, it is all about the grooming and sleeping. I'm seeing another cage question. You guys have to understand that all you're seeing is what fits in my camera. Um, all of this enclosure here is Cameron and Zabu, and they have a huge open air section out there. So you can see her standing two enclosures over. They're connected by tunnels and doors. Here she comes. So go to bigcatrescue.org slash cages to learn about how we construct our cages. Yeah, he got some full belly in medicine. All right, guys. Well, I think this is where we're going to end for today. As I mentioned, we possibly are going to try to move Keisha Tiger later. So I'll try to bring you guys um, along for that when she gets all settled in her new home. I think Sabu's going to go in her big den. This giant pile that you see them having been walking around is a really nice concrete den for them. Yeah, here she goes. That's where she spends about 90% of her day. But if you guys just joined in, we saw a lot of the smaller cats earlier. Frankie Bobcat kind of went down that strip a little bit. Saw Apollo running there. Skipper Gilligan, Loki, and Zuccari. Saw Maya and Armani. Gabby, Kali, and Priya. <laughs> then we made our way out here to Cameron and Zabu. If you guys ever miss these lives or come in late, you can always um, watch the replays on our Facebook page. I also go live um, almost every day here recently on our Instagram page, instagram.com slash bigcatrescue. So thank you to anyone who donated and everyone who shared this and everyone who helped me answer questions. If I missed a question or comment, I'll reach out to you when I get back to my desk. 
So thank you guys. I hope you all have a great week. Um, this was Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. All right, bye Cam Cam. <laughs> bye everybody.